Hello everyone, welcome back again to my YouTube channel Rose in the Philippines So, today guys, we are going to show you here around for our new update here in our house Hello <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yes Hi Yeah, so what are we going to do? What are we going to show? Mm, our new are updating and yeah. building yeah building for the new cover uh, overhang <laughs> what is yeah that? we're doing a new overhang <laughs> on, the, on the front <laughs> yeah we're doing the new overhang we're installing the new overhang you know and um, also our batteries yeah we got another lithium yeah lithium yeah. lithium ion <laughs> Li yeah we, she got another lithium ion battery <laughs> <laughs> yeah. a, leech on, a leech on ion battery man powered by pig <laughs> and also our electric here so yep. there's no hassle yeah <laughs> yeah oh, let's go uh, walk around i guess and we'll show you what's going on yeah and i've been busting my butt here don't just because i'm so beautiful you know and my hands are soft and tender <laughs> you know and i got such a such a sexy body you know doesn't mean that i'm not working hard okay everybody <laughs> look at her she's like what sexy body yeah. uh, wake up okay. yeah okay. i'm, I'm up. saying he sees me to hey what are you doing because i'm doing my nails then mm -hmm. he said uh you need to after that you doing the uh, rock and the <laughs> yeah say so, yeah you go ahead go ahead do your nails because after that you're hauling rock girl yeah. get out there yeah then you know I working on her, the chain gang i said okay so that's what i your dinner to prepare you the rock and the cement <laughs> yeah the rock and cement for dinner i said okay you win <laughs> you win no so, i i do the rock and cement and she can prepare dinner because she's a she's a really good cook so look at my knees yeah look at them <laughs> So yeah, cool. I put nice color on that. Yeah. That's, that's not a picture. Hey, it's great. I, oh, it looks great, just like your hair. Just like our house color. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, we've been pretty busy, though. Yeah. Um, you know, we've been helping, like I said before, we've been helping our friend out with the real estate. That's mm -hmm. going real good. His business is picking up. You know, we're trying to find buyers yeah. for him. And uh, that's going really yes. good. Yeah. yeah. And the, oh, guys, thank you so much for our comment, to our yeah. watching, and support yeah. to our YouTube channel, guys. Thank you so much because uh, it's a lot of comedy, negative, positive, <laughs> what yeah, else? Negative, yeah, positive, yeah, neutral, our, whatever. Yeah, yeah, for our budgeting here. Yeah, our budgeting video is yes. a lot different than most. Yeah. So, we don't care. That's our ours, our mm -hmm. parts of our life. Okay? That's so, right so okay go ahead show me yeah mom. i show you around then anyway guys this our village is they call village it's our little yeah, it's our little 7-eleven <laughs> village Hi, <laughs> some some have a love driver or delivery uh where is that exactly your address because we don't have really address uh yeah. exactly our, our our property here so they called ah so it's there in the foreigner village yeah, yeah. they called foreigner village they call it the foreigner village because it's all foreigners that live here <laughs> yeah. so yeah yep, yep, yep. <laughs> yep, yep so it's all foreigners that own the properties here yeah and you know they're all building basically except for one yes okay o okay, okay here we coming go. up all right da -da -da. Mm -hmm. hello everybody yeah and we are back this is the uh the beginning of the roadway here like mm -hmm. i said this is our property this will be going out that's yeah. going out but then the other way is coming in so we'll yeah. turn around and show you what's going on uh, electric line yeah the power line is run um all the, all, the yeah the power thing. line and all the poles are put in 750 meters ran from one side from the main road mm -hmm. all the way around and then back over to that that way is run for our power and then you go we got our neighbors here they're building um they're fins. yeah they're putting their fence up right now and this is the the easement this is a four four meter easement four and a half i think um mm -hmm. uh, pretty wide so we get a lot of rain so some of this is getting yeah, washed out a little bit we got some big trucks coming in to fill for our neighbor too so they're tearing mm -hmm. up the road somewhat but mm -hmm. that's okay construction you know yeah you can't you can't stop that so but 
Yeah, things are going good over here. We're moving right around, right along. And uh, we've built our 7-Eleven over there. <laughs> <laughs> look at it, guys. If you look at it, doesn't it look like a 7-Eleven? It's got the brown and the orange stripe. Yeah. So that orange is just a, a piece of metal. It's the frame for the uh, <laughs> overhang. So, But it looks like a 7-Eleven store for sure now. You know? So, yeah, you can get Mountain Dew and Pepsi and Tandu High and Sam McGill Light in there and ice cream and fresh chicken. Anything you want in the freezer at the 7-Eleven is on sale today. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that dirt off the deliver. Yeah, yeah they got, they're going to have probably uh, 40 more loads come in because yeah. if you look how tall this the, road, the, the fence is back yeah. here, the wall, it's mm. really not going to be that tall. Mm -hmm. because they're filling this back filling this all in yeah so i mean they've got f five feet of backfill they have to put yeah. in here yeah so that's a lot of dirt man it's yeah. a lot a lot of dirt they're bringing in it's a big truck coming in <laughs> yeah big trucks but this yeah. is the yeah this is our road coming in now yeah so and we'll have a you know we started putting up the the posts so we're gonna bring the posts all the way up to here mm -hmm. and then just to close it off and then we'll have a power gate right here Right at the end. Well, look at just a little mango. Yeah, the mangoes are everywhere. They're growing. They're just look at that. Yeah. They're just full. So, wow. Yeah. These are the sweet mangoes too. Look at them all. Yeah, it's a lot. We got to come over here and pick some. Yeah. We got the tool, you know, the bamboo rod with the net. So. Wow, it's a little mango. That's mango. Very tasty. Good. Yeah, these it's are the good sweet. ones. These are the little mangoes. So wow. these are the sweet ones. It's a lot. Yep. But, you know, like I said, this is, it's getting there. And we're going to knock these poles back down and fill this in. And we're going to turn this into a parking lot right here just so we can park cars here because we got plans for another uh, one-bedroom guest house. Mm -hmm. a, uh, bamboo, a bamboo, a foreign style, all bamboo, foreign style, or, or native style, excuse yeah. me, native style home. Yeah. So we're going to build another home there. That's, that's a living Seven Eleven. Like Seven Eleven, and then the one bedroom store. You'll go right to the Seven Eleven and get what you need. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, we did during the drought. We lost a lot of our a lot of our landscaping here. Mm. I mean, I want to say we lost fifty percent of it. Yeah, it's a lot because from the sun. Yeah, and no rain. Is, yeah. So it's we got to start all over again on this landscape, all back out again, mm. except for the trees, some of the bigger trees. Look at my know. bush now. It's yeah. Like, so we got to start all over now that's rainy season so everything can get uh, well uh, seeded into the ground. And then, yeah, this is, now you can move on yeah, up this, this way. Is, those, these only survive. Yeah, they didn't need, make it our, these are growing good. Yeah. These were, I'll tell you, if you look at these, these are about three foot tall right now. They were only about a foot tall when we bought them. Yeah. They are really growing long. They're well, growing this beautiful. Did, uh, dead because from yeah. no water. Uh, yeah, and we did water them as much as we yeah. could afford to. You know, I mean, as much as we could, but it just wasn't enough. Mm. So, yeah, it's a starting rainy season. Yeah, so right now we now. got the rainy season, but we lost all our frog grass out here and everything. I mean, we had this whole thing all frog grass, this whole area, mm. and it's just all died. So we have to start all over again. Yeah. So that's okay. Yeah. yeah keeps the locals working this is now our power and our wi-fi here yeah we, we got have our, our poles yeah coming in here yeah yeah we're not uh, i'm not doing a solid fence here what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna do a uh, look at the this starting the bob wire with electric yeah there, there's no electric yeah there's starting now the green yeah everything's starting to green so and the landscaping around the pool is starting to grow in a little bit better and thicker. Mm -hmm. So that's nice. And all of our, all of our uh, wild vines starting to fall over onto the rock, which is looking pretty good. We're getting there. It's slow. It's slow, but it, you know, it's nature. Yeah. So it takes time. Yeah, look at that one. Yeah. And you can hear the bubbling pool. Yes. Yeah, Yeah, I took a break from working today. Yeah. It's just too much, too hot and too many days. Okay. All in a row. 
So, and then, uh, let's go at the back. Yep. We got the post put in yesterday. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, you know, all the, all the holes filled back in. And then we have topsoil put down. I did that too yesterday. Look at the grass. <laughs> yep. Those are just growing in. And then we did all this and what, two and a half days. In two and a half mm -hmm. days, we put, this has been, oh, there you go. You're going that way. Yeah, this is the steep here. Yeah. I'm going to our patio, yeah. our porch, which will be all um, mm -hmm. tile, the same stone style tile mm -hmm. as that. Yeah. All the way out to the end of the gravel. Mm -hmm. And then it's going to go all the way to the Kubo. So this will all be tiled and then tiled all the way into the Kubo by the pool with the overhang here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We can come around that way. So, but this is, this is what we've been doing. We started, this has got all weed guard underneath it. And then uh, all these rocks were hauled in. I did all this in the last two days, two and a half days. This, this, and this. And then all the way, to, all the way down to the back here, you'll see. Um, all the way back here. Oh, no. That's the laundry. That's the laundry. It's supposed to water all the way back here. I'm going to have to figure out why it's not. Uh, Oh, it is running back here, too. It's oh, my. They're starting digging again. <laughs> yeah, our dogs are digging again over here. <laughs> going to kick their butts. <laughs> so, but usually it doesn't flood that much over here because it was supposed to go this way. So I'll have to move some of these rocks and find out where uh, it's being blocked at because I want it to shoot down more there to water the grass, water the flowers. And then what we did is we've also... This is all within the last two and a half days. Laid all this, mm -hmm. and then the walkway, and leveled that, and then the walkway, check this out, the, the walkway all the way back here has been done. Um, and then that goes all the way back to the back, just for the uh, CR back here. Mm -hmm. It goes all the way back, and this will all be frog grassed in. Yeah. And, and then all this will all be frog grassed in all the way around and all the way back. You see we have two mm -hmm. more loads of just fill dirt that's going to level off down there. Yeah. And then, then we'll come around here and you see we got the topsoil laid. Mm -hmm. Me and uh, her brother-in-law did this within the last three days. This is what we've been doing. But like I said, I took a break today. Got the topsoil laid on part of it and then he's just finishing up the rest of the sand on that hill right there mm -hmm. and i'll get some more topsoil and i'll put the topsoil on top of that then after that we will be planting frog grass this whole area so we'll walk around that way oh and then go we go this yeah, way you can see your... we got more one two three four five six seven these are 500 and 50 watts. 550 watts a piece ah, okay. for these so you're looking at, uh, it's a 1,100 for two. So 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, and we have another one there. We have another 4,000 watts of solar power, which is beautiful. And then, um, and that was, we got, I, I got that mostly installed. I got the new rails for that. Go on. So I have to install the rest of those. And I picked up some breakers and that that I needed. And then we go into the power room. Da, da, da. Um, and all these still have to be hung up. I keep yeah. adding more and more and more, and I never get a chance to finish it. So I have to add more to it. But this, this is, is a, a two. That's a 250 amp hour battery, a 250 amp hour battery uh, lithium, another 250 amp hour battery, and then another 280 amp hour battery. They're all lithium ions. This is no carbon, no. Blue carbon and one yeah. solar. Uh, we have two blue carbons and two one solars. Okay. And they, they're running in parallel with each other. Mm. Um, and they're all within, they're beautiful. They're all running within the right amount of their 26.8, 26.9, all with 26.8, all one tenth of a, a volt from each other. So that's a beautiful thing. You know, I've got the wiring at the right length. And then, uh, like I said, I got to just tidy this all up. Yeah, again, I had it nice and neat and clean. And this is the uh, electric 
Yeah, right. and that, that's the electric right there that says, and when these batteries go low, uh -huh. it automatically shows a line that says bypass and it goes right to there. Mm -hmm. So if we run short of power, it automatically switches over. So we never have to worry about coming in here. It automatically, if it's cloudy, it'll charge the batteries yeah. too. Charge them and Yeah, and then what it does is it, it automatically uses the, in solar inverter, first to produce and the sun to produce power yeah. before it will use electricity from the grid yeah. and in this one right yeah, here this, one, this is from going this is just for our well for our water pump water pump power separate yeah i wanted okay. that to be separate this two I those think. two and yeah okay. and that's a lithium um that one's just charging on a trickle charge because i just wanted a spare battery for the house and thank mm -hmm. god we had one because my neighbor needed one to jump his car mm -hmm. so i just keep that one here but these two are just a gels and that just j this this system right here this 6000 watt system is a good backup one mm -hmm. for everything i don't need that just for my I don't, I don't need that much wattage for my pump but i have that one in case something goes wrong i can actually hook my whole house up to this one too yeah. and run it off there so and this is the controller this is the solar one the solar controller this is a, the 100 amp solar controller and i have another one in the house that i'm going to be using so I have two 100 amp solar controllers um, running. And then I picked up all my breakers. So all my breakers will be down here again instead of just this nightmare mess that I have. Uh, Only I know the secrets to this. <laughs> <laughs> so, so this is the whole house power. Yes, yeah, all the house all the power battery. right there. Yeah. And also the filter water the, the water, yeah, for the, for the pool and everything. Mm, then this one is for the just for the water, water the shower water pump for the showers uh, yeah. the toilet and the sinks okay. yeah that's individually and separately okay. so yeah nice. we're uh we're doing really good here man we got some uh you know i've got a lot of money invested here don't get me wrong guys okay but so, I, okay. I i would rather live like this than live in america and have bills to pay so you know and then uh you can see you know our new our we have a new power box put in. Did this one a couple days ago. <laughs> this power box. This is for the uh, Norelco to come in. This comes in, and then it uh, it comes into the main, mm -hmm. and then it comes out for, to here. It goes back into the Kubo, and this is where the uh, this is for the inverter, and then these two are spares. Yeah. And then the inverter also feeds off of those two, and it also has the switch, which changes over to the uh, to those also. It changes over to these two. So this is where the main breaker is for the main power coming in, yeah. and the the hybrid inverter, yeah. and then the rest is all fed into those. Okay. And then I put this in, be brand new too, waterproof. Sunk that in a couple days ago. So when what I, is that for? That's just an extra outside plug. Huh? If we wanted an outside plug, um, okay. we have one out here, plus we have one down there now. So, and then now we're going to come around the corner here and just see what we're doing. Oh, yeah, your washing machine. She loves that washing machine, boy. She washes every day if she hey, can it's get doing... Yeah, it's just filling right now. Okay. Yeah, filling with water. So... And this was like four inches uh, low. So now it's all brought back up. And it's all brought back up about a half an inch or one inch at the edge. So when we put the frog grass, the frog grass will butt up against the sidewalk. Mm -hmm. And uh, like I said, this was a lot of dirt to throw. This was three dump trucks full of dirt. Yeah. So, that's our boss watching. And that's the boss right there. Mm -hmm. He's thing here. <laughs> he controls it all. That's a uh, salt. Yep. Salt, come here. Oh, come here. Salt, come here. Salt, good boy. Sit down. You sit down, baby. Sit. Nah, he ain't gonna sit down. Sit. sit. So, yeah. No. no. We're getting there. I still have some more work to do on the pump filter. That's got to be underground, so I have to chisel up the cement there. So I could run that, you know, flush with the ground and then run the blue pipe all the way out. And the blue pipe's going down and it's going to be hooked up because that's where you flush it. If you look at these big pipes here, they have holes in them. These will be set underground 
with stone on them um, mm -hmm. so the water leaks into the ground it'll automatically every time I have to flush the, the uh, the filter mm -hmm. when I flush the filter instead of just losing all that water to the to the jungle I'm gonna water my grass with it all right through here the whole area okay. so it just you know we're trying to conserve as much as we can and then we also did all this right here too a couple days ago let's fill all this with all the rocks because we had a we only had the bigger rocks in here but now we put the smaller rocks in also with that and uh, we finished that off. I got to get two more climbing roses for this corner here. I need to put one there and one here. So this will be uh, upwards. And I get my rebarb and I'll bend my rebarb so they climb up the rebarb. Mm -hmm. And uh, so that's where we're at. And then, like I said, we're, uh, they put the posts in. They're cutting up the posts right now to be matched in line. Mm -hmm. um, see how they notch it. You see this? How do you notch that? So that way they can set the big beam right inside there. Yeah. Um, I'm not doing this stuff. They're gonna do that. I'm helping with the other stuff. Um. So, and you know, it's but it's coming along. It's taking us a while to get everything done. Mm -hmm. And I had to I had to drain the pool down. We're getting so much rain the pool was overflowing. So I dropped it down low. Like a, yeah. I don't know, like once see one, two, three, four, five inches or four inches because every time we just keep getting more rain, it's just filling up, filling up, filling up, filling up more and more. So this way, you know, the rainwater gets in there and it's nice and soft and nice cool good water. So, but things are coming along pretty good. I still have a lot more work to do yet. We still have to build the build the cover for the pool with metal scaffolding and piping and all that. But I wanted this overhang done, and the overhang is only getting a roof. It's not getting the the undercarriage done yet because I have lighting to put in, uh, stereo speakers to put in, mm -hmm. um, CTC wiring to put in. Drinking, uh, drinking the mud water, the foot water. I gotta wash that out for him. <laughs> How's my feet taste? <laughs> yeah. So, you know, and then I got to put the ceiling fan wire in. So, you know, that's about it. So things are coming along pretty good. And like I said, if you notice this, now you can see over here, this is what I'm talking about. This is all going to be cemented and then all tiled coming all the way up. So that'll be all tiled, cemented and tiled. And then all the way up here will be all cemented and tiled. Little bit of grass right there. Okay. Oh. So, okay, everybody, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to shout out and don't forget to subscribe. Yeah, thanks for bye watching. Bye. All right, and bye bye. Hey, to all our friends, we miss you. We love you. We hope to see you real soon. Okay? Yeah. And uh, well, maybe we'll have another get together with some hot dogs and stuff like we did a couple weeks ago. Okay, bye-bye. Okay.